Hi, it's time for Super Kids. Let's get started. Let's get the letter J and the letter Y of your letter cards. You need those today. And so if I say a word that starts with J, you want to hold up the J one. And if I say one that starts with X or Y, you need to hold up the Y one. So the first word is yes. Yes. Do you have your Y up? Perfect. Next, jar. So you put yours up right away and then I'll put mine up in a little bit so that you can check to make sure you got the right one. Okay? Juice. Yard. Year. Junk. Joke. Yours. And yellow. Good job. Now we're going to learn the action for X. We are just going to cross our arms like this and it makes a big X. So that's X. And the Y one is you're pretending you're eating yogurt. So you're holding your cup of yogurt and you have your spoon in your other hand and you go, yeah, 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 yogurt. And if you like, you can go at the end. Ready? Yeah, 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 yogurt. Delicious. Okay, so what you wanna do is the X one for this one. And if there, is a word that starts with a different letter, you want to do the action for that too. And same thing like we did with the letter cards, you, I'll pause and you do it, and then I'll do it, and you can check your answer to make sure you're right. Ready? And the X can be anywhere in the word, okay? You wanna listen for the X sound. Ready? Box. Right. Book. Are you pretending you're batting a ball? Wax. Mm -hmm. Sauce. S snake. Mixer. Do you hear the k sound in there? Yes. Jelly. Oh, this is the fun one. You get to jiggle like jello. J -j 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 jello. I like that one. Great. G -g 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 gurgle. Next, do you hear that k sound in the middle? And excellent, k again. So you did a great job with that. We are ready to learn how to make X's and Y's today. And so I have my paper here and I am going to put another piece of paper behind there just to be safe so that I don't write on my um, easel and I wrote them up there with a black marker but that was kind of bleeding through so I'm going to use this gray one and I want you to start up on the top right up here and you're going to do a slanted line down and stop at the chocolate line then you go straight above where that um, line ended and you want to start there and you want to cross the other one in the on the yellow line and then end about straight down from there. So that's how you make an X. We've been making X's for a lot of the year on um, some of the Super Kids pages, so you should be okay with this. Make sure you do the one from the left side to the right, and then start above that and go down. So a small X is very similar. You just start right there on the vanilla line. You do a slanted line down, stop at the chocolate line, go straight up from there, and then do a slanted line down and it should end about there. Mine is a little wobbly there. I'm gonna try mine again, okay? So you can do that, ready? Slanted line down, slanted line down. There, that one looks much better. So let's sky write that. So you wanna make sure your arm is really straight and you're gonna start up in the corner and you do a slanted line down to the chocolate, stop there, go straight up, but you have to lift up your pencil. 
and then do a slanted line down and stop at the chocolate again. And you have to make sure that crosses in the vanilla, at the vanilla line. Then let's do that one more time. Slanted line down, stop at the chocolate, lift up your pencil fingers and go up straight up and do a slanted line down, stop on the chocolate again. And let's do a small X also. It's just starting on the vanilla. Do a slanted line down, stop at the chocolate, lift your pencil, go straight up and do a slanted line down and stop at the chocolate again. Your, where they cross should be in between, right in the middle of the yellow and the brown lines, the vanilla and the chocolate, okay? So that is page two and it looks like this. So you need to trace all the X's and then trace these two and then you're going to start there. Make sure you do the slanted line this way first. So you want to start at the dot and do your slanted line down to the chocolate then go straight up from there and do a slanted line down. This is for the next one. Make sure your second line doesn't start there because otherwise they'll be too close together. It would look kind of pretty but it's not what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, and then when you get to the bottom, you wanna trace the words down here and then write them down here. Remember, if you leave too much space in between, it's not gonna fit, okay? We're also going to learn how to make Y's so that you can do the next page right away too. So don't pause the video yet, just listen on how to make a Y and then you can do it all together, okay? So we're going to do the capital Y first. You do a slanted line down from the vanilla, stop at the, Sorry, I said that wrong. You start at the strawberry, stop at the vanilla, and then you go straight up and you make a little V there. And then you do a straight line down. That one is okay. I think I'm gonna try it one more time. So start on the strawberry, slant down to the vanilla and straight line up to the, or slanted line up to the strawberry and then do a straight line down from where they meet. A small Y is similar, but not quite the same. You do a slanted line down and then you move over and up to the vanilla line again and then you do a slanted line down and it goes right across where your um, other line ended. Okay, so let's try that sky writing. Make sure your elbow is straight and you have your fingers out. You're going to start on the strawberry line, do a slanted line down to the vanilla, slanted line up to the strawberry, lift your pencil fingers to that point where you met the vanilla line and then you do a straight line down. Try it one more time. Slanted line down to the vanilla, slanted line up. It should look like a V. Now you wanna lift your pencil fingers and go to the vanilla line where you made that point and make a straight line down, stop at the chocolate. Now we're going to make the small Y also. Start on the vanilla, slanted line down. Then lift your pencil fingers up and over and start on the vanilla line again and do a slanted line down, crossing the chocolate and going below the chocolate line but crossing it right where your pencil ended from the other one. Try it again. Slanted line down, lift up your pencil fingers and start off to the side and do a slanted line down like that past the chocolate. And so it crosses that line you made before. The Y page looks like this. It is page three. You want to trace the Y's up here. Start there, make your own right here. Make sure you make the V part first and then the line down, going down. These two are made differently, but they are similar, okay? So then you do the small Y's right there, small and big, and this is the sentence. Ooh, do you notice that they use dialogue in here for you? So make sure after you write this, read this with me, the kids yell, and then you have a little comma, that little line down there is a comma, then you have the exclamation marks up there, and they said, yes. And they said it with excitement, so there's an exclamation mark at the end. So that goes before the other um, exclamation marks. So right there are those little lines there and there. And same thing, if you make it too big, your letters for your words need to be close together, but then you need a little space in between the words so that it still looks like words and not all one big word, okay? There you go. That's all there is for today is just page two and page three. There is also handwriting in your book. I'm going to show you that on my page. You also, if you got your new um, or your corrected papers back in there was 
the handwriting written out in the handwriting font that they use for Super Kids. I downloaded it on my computer and I finally figured out how to get it to work. So I printed them all for you there so you have the right way to write it. And I won't be taking pictures anymore, okay? So this is the handwriting for today. And then the that goes on this kind of paper. And you should start a new paper because it's Monday. Put your name up there and away you go. And then this is the worksheet for today. This is optional. You write your name up here and you trace the letters. And this one already has the X in there, so you write ox. But then you have to write ox here again and again. You add an X to there every time, and then you have to write the same word two times down below. Then you get to cut out all these pictures. So you're going to start way over here, cut all the way across, and then you can cut them out and decide which picture goes with which um, word up there. Let's look through these first right here. And this is a, you're right, that's a six. And this is a fox. A fox looks kind of like a dog, but it's really pointy there and it has very pointy ears. Usually this part right here is white and the end of their tail is white. And usually they're kind of a deep reddish color. They're very pretty animals. Okay, and this is an ox. We learned about that when we did the letter O. And this is an ax. And you can use that to cut down a tree. And that is, um, we learned about that with the letter A. And this is a box. So all of those pictures end with an X. And so all of these words end with an X. And also when you're doing your X homework, you can find the X anywhere in a word. Okay. The Y has to be at the beginning yet and the Z also. But the X can be anywhere in the word. Okay, have a great day.